Welcome back to Journey Alberta. I'm Sean, and today I'm in Brown Lowry Provincial Park. I'm in Brown Lowry Provincial Park. I'm out here by myself. I'm gonna be doing um, a little short hike up to a viewpoint. Just gotta keep going on this uh, initial trail here till I hit an intersection. I think I believe it's the Wild Rose Loop that I'm on. So that I'm gonna be kind of doing part of at least. Should get take me up to a nice overlook. I've actually never been in this provincial park in any season other than winter. I've been here twice with my friend Jesse in the winter. It's a very nice park in the winter actually very quiet and that's kind of how it feels like today there's only like one or two other maybe people out here something I've noticed already can of tell by the trail it's not your normal dirt trail or paved obviously out here but like it's very nicely maintained it's very easy on my feet this um these trails are maintained by volunteers and there's a little uh, drop box at the entrance for donations i'll probably put whatever spare change i might have in there actually on my way out this is a nice little park and you know you know if i can help um keep it maintained then any little any little bit helps Well, I'm at a trail intersection now. There's a sign behind me. There's a couple different options I could do here. It looks like there's a Wild Rose East and a Wild Rose West trail. They're both about, uh, it looks like 0 0.7, 0 0.6 kilometers. And then from there, it's about half a kilometer up to the lookout, give or take. Probably not, not a whole lot of elevation gain either. It's not too bad. I've, well, like I've said, I've done it before. I've done it in the winter. So if anything, it should be easier uh, right now in the fall. One of the reasons I wanted to come out to Brown Lowry Provincial Park specifically today, well, one of the reasons is there's generally not a whole lot of people out here. It's a lot less crowded of an area because there's not really a day use area or picnic tables or fire pits or anything. So it's more of a hiking provincial park. But another one of the reasons I wanted to come out here today is because it's autumn, it's fall. I want to see some of the, uh, the cool colors of the leaves because where we are right here is kind of in the foothills of Alberta. If you don't know where Brown Lowry Provincial Park is, it's uh, kind of southwest of Calgary. Not too far actually from where I live, only like a 40, 50 minute drive at all, so not bad at all. As you can see beside me, I've come to another intersection of trails. I'm right here now. Started up here, went all the way down on Wild Rose West. That's where I started this trail. Now it looks like half kilometer, 0 0.6 kilometers. I'll be at the lookout actually. scared myself there. I'm still calling out every once in a while. If you've seen me in other videos, I go, hey -o! very loudly. <laughs> scared the crap out of me. I let out a AO. And maybe 20 feet in front of me, a few deer ran. <laughs> they were just laying down maybe in the grass. Didn't even see them. 20 feet. 
That's why I'm yelling out here. Because they didn't hear me until I was like 20 feet, or maybe they did before, but they didn't move till I was about 20 feet from them. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Well, I've made it to the overlook here. Wow, amazing views looking west. Wind's picking up a little bit now. Wow, it's like the perfect day to be out here. Just amazing views, like I said before, up at the viewpoint. I'm gonna start putting my stuff away. I bring out my big camera, take some pictures up here. And I tried a yellow, or a filter, I guess that's half, not half yellow and it brings up some uh, different colors, or it should at least when I'm uh, editing. Try, I took the photo. I'll put it on here. See if you guys can, uh, if you guys can kind of tell that I had a yellow filter on the bottom there. It's actually one of Danae's filters that she got. And uh, she was kind enough to let me borrow it when I came out here today. But, better put this, some stuff away in my backpack here my hoodie back on because I'm getting a little cold and uh, start making my way back to the car. Back in my vehicle in total, it took me about 40 minutes, that's including stopping to take video and everything, to get up to the viewpoint. And coming back, where I was taking a bit less clips, took me about 25, maybe just under 30 minutes, so really not bad at all. And you know, anyone could really do this hike, like past a couple families on my way back here. And you know, kids can easily do this and you get some great views at the end too. So overall, you know, it's, it's close to Calgary. It's what, 40 minutes? For me for my house so like that's not far at all and this this provincial park is great for hiking as well hopefully you've enjoyed watching me uh do the wild bit of the wild wild rose loop today i had fun leave a comment down below where you'd like to see me go next subscribe for new videos coming every friday see you next week